Uh oh, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 what day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -woo! <laughs> The right man with the right voice at the right time. Right on. Right on. Right on time. James T. Harris is on 1041 The Truth. Right talk for Tucson. <laughs> Good afternoon, Tucson. I am the beautiful man. Standing right across from me is my sexy sidekick, Ross. Taking your telephone calls at 751-1041. Stacy in a tutu on a high wire. Yes, my friends, this is your daily dose of madness. This is madness! A little slice of life known as a conservative circus heard exclusively on 1041 The Truth. My friends, if you've been paying attention to the to the blog that I have on Wonderful One of Truth, and you know what? I understand if you haven't been paying attention. I haven't had Steve Spain on a while. But that will be changing soon. <laughs> I have had a guest uh a guest writer, um, and she penned a very strong piece uh, on for the blog a, a couple of days ago. It's up there right now. She happens to be in studio right now for one reason and one reason only. It's nearly time! Pima County Supervisor Allie Miller is in the house. It is time for another edition of Miller Time, of course. Supervisor Allie Miller keeps us up on the going-ons. They had another Pima County Supervisor meeting yesterday in which millions of dollars were discussed. Yes, they were. <laughs> A very, very controversial uh, bond issue was coming out here. Real quickly, though, um, for my Facebook page uh, with the blog there, uh, Sharon Bronson says it's about the children's is, but the data shows otherwise. What is it that you're getting out there to the to the uh, tax paying people of Tucson? Well, uh, she said it was not about uh, personal vendettas. It was about the children. So we did some research and gathered some data from the Sheriff Department and the Department of Transportation. And there's 5,800 children per day that travel on Thornydale, which was where I was going to do some repairs. And there is, uh, I think, about 1,300 children out on uh, Colossal Cave Road, two schools on Colossal Cave Road, and there are seven schools on that uh, with the children traveling on Thornydale Road. And I believe there's been something like 143 accidents in the last two years on Thornydale with two fatalities and 23 accidents with zero fatalities on, on Colossal Cave Road. Yet that was declared an emergency and they took all of my road money, repair money, 800 and some odd thousand dollars that we had left, and they moved it out to Colossal Cave Road. The facts defy what Sharon Bronson is saying. So, now, a lot of people are saying, you know, it, it's, it's time to move on, but I agree with you. You know what? It might be time to move on, but at least let us understand what took place. And if you want to see the numbers, what I love about this post is you lay it out beautifully. You have a graph here. Uh, you have the numbers highlighted. If you want to uh, look into the, into the going-ons in these meetings, and the huge lie that was told because of the taxpayers of District 1, and I know you've been getting mail about this. We, uh, there's even information going out to the different uh, neighborhood associations about how they're not going to have any repairs going on this year because of this move. If you want to look into it deeper, you know, go to 1041thetruth.com. Uh, go to my blog page and you'll see a piece up there by Allie Miller. Sharon Bronson says, it's about the children, says, but the data shows that it's otherwise. Who was that? Who said that uh, this is not a Chris Christie moment? We're that was not, Richard Elias. Yeah, this is yeah. not Chris Christie. This is just business. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not a Chris Christie moment. And 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 when we looked into that data, it was just shocking because I, I expected to find, you know, car crashes and deaths out there and all kinds of things. But Thorny Del Road, we know it is bad. Everyone knows it's bad and it's time to get it repaired. And the other thing, the other picture that they continue to try to paint 
and you see it everywhere. You see it's coordinated. Allie Miller is difficult to get along with. If you look at, go look at any video of any meeting and find out who's hard to get along with. Well, I just ask questions. And that's just it. <laughs> yeah, you know, I say that often. I just ask, I just have these questions. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, the thing is, when you, when you take the time, for instance, and please, I'm asking you to do this because that narrative is floating around. And it that's is. the only thing they can do. They can't stop you by talking numbers. You have numbers right here. The numbers are on the blog page of 1041 The Truth. So seeing they can't do that, and I know they're listening to Miller Time, all they can do is try to, you know, like, like they do other people who happen to be female and conservative, they just knock you down. Yeah, they try to marginalize you. So yeah. while they're doing that, take the time to look at the numbers. Take the time to look at the numbers and then let the numbers speak for themselves, not the personalities or the accusations flying around. That is all squirrel, squirrel, <laughs> diversions. Exactly. Look at the numbers. And Allie took the time to write this out. There'll be other pieces. I have I've given her uh, an open door policy when there's an editorial that she wants out there. Uh, she'll write it up and I'll give you the heads up. You can go to 1041 The Truth and uh, the page and the information is right there. Exactly. Allie Miller, um, uh, well, before we get into the whole animal, Pima uh, Animal Control Center analysis, this, 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 have you been keeping up with the, the bighorn sheep? I I don't think there's many left up there, there's are there? Been another one. Another one? Another one. Oh, went and, down. and did they kill another lion? Well... Um, I think they've only taken out three lions. Now, I have a I resident that. grain war warden for the for the James C. Harris show who weighs in. I was supposed to get to him yesterday. We did. Uh, and he gave me some fantastic information about about the whole genesis of the the repopulation effort and even admitted that, you know, as far as the Catalina and the Friends of Catalina keeping the community informed, there was much to be desired there. But there's still like um, they're they're talking about bringing out more sheep uh, in in autumn. And to serve <laughs> up for dinner. <laughs> Why are they doing this? I I don't understand. I mean, they went extinct for a reason because the mountain lions overtook them, and and I I I just have a hard time killing mountain lions while we're serving them up sheep. Well, see what see see what see what had happened was they want to put the sheep back in the mountains so that it's all beautiful and pretty even though the, you're not allowed to go hiking up there anymore because they're there you can't really see them you know unless somebody you know takes a picture of them and shows you what they're supposed to look like because they're kind of like cordoning off a lot of the paths and the trails at the Catalina uh, they, they, just, they just want them back there because that's what this 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 uh, department does that's what they're designed to do to to move animals around yeah nature <laughs> It's a nature thing. <laughs> Remake nature. Now, ain't nothing <laughs> nice about nature. I can kind of get my head around that a little bit, Allie Miller, because, you know, what they're trying to do is they're trying to replace the sheep that, is, that used to be there, you know, because they were there. I can't get my head around what you all were talking about yesterday in the uh, Pima County Supervisor <laughs> meeting, okay? I'm just going to keep it real. I can't get my head around this. It's kind of hard to get your head around. You yeah. are talking about um, uh, 22 million, 22 million dollars. Are you supporting putting this thing on the ballot? I did. Uh, as of Friday, we had no information uh, oh. regarding this item. Uh, we didn't have anything, and stop, it was stop, 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 stop. I'm stop. serious. Stop, stop. <laughs> you guys <laughs> yesterday voted on something. That you only got on Friday? No, we got it Monday. <laughs> Monday afternoon. Stop it! No, I'm not kidding. This spreadsheet came out Monday afternoon. Late Monday afternoon is when I got it. I received it and I started looking at it. And the reason... No, no, I no. Stop, 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 <laughs> stop, stop, stop. I want it's people... Shocking. I want that to sink in. You, the board, got this information y uh, 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 Monday. Monday. And you voted on it on... Tuesday, Tuesday morning. So who did the information come from? It came from the Pima Animal Control Department. And how come the Pima Animal Control Department was Johnny come lately getting you this information? That was my question. Um, I asked for it. I was asking for it since last Thursday because we don't get information for the agenda anyway for until Thursday. 
we start getting it on Thursday and Friday. So that's why I spend all weekend studying at this stuff. And I wanted to have it Friday so I could read it over the weekend and right. understand it, do some research. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. They did not. They kept, we kept asking for it. We kept told we're being told they're working up the numbers. They're working on the numbers. They're putting them together. And we never got the numbers until Monday afternoon. And that being said, the reason I voted to put this on the ballot, $22 million, was to allow the voters of Pima County to have their say. It does not mean that I support it. As a matter of fact, after looking at these numbers, I am 100% against it. And um, you've looked at the numbers. Yes. And I will be putting this on your blog page. Thank you so much. But (laughs) Thank you so much for that. Here's what I want to do, though, Allie. I want to give you the opportunity when we come back to take uh, the listeners through the numbers. Because after I'm looking at the numbers, I have suspicions of why this was given to you last minute and tried to force the thing through. Because the numbers don't add up. We're talking about... $22 $22 million being spent in with 24 hours notice. This is so Congress. This yes. is so what Democrats do. Well, bo- actually, both Democrats and Republicans do this mess in Washington, D.C. And that's what we're seeing right here. So we're going to have Allie Miller on Miller Time walk us through the numbers that she received on Monday from the Animal Who Shelter What? The, an- the Pima, Pima Animal, Animal Control, Control Center. Center. Fasten your safety belts. If you're driving, please, both hands on the steering wheel when we do this. You're listening to One for One, the truth. <laughs> 22 minutes after the hour of five, we are in the, the midst of, of a miller time. It's miller time! We're about to go through these numbers. Uh, uh, we just found out that... Uh, this was delivered to the board Monday. They're supposed to vote on it on, on Tuesday. Uh, Allie Miller, $22 million. Did they expect for you to have like a a, a proper vote on this? I mean, you were, were you supposed to vote this into existence on Tuesday? Yeah, on Tuesday we, uh, we actually did. Uh, voted to put this on the ballot on the November 2014 ballot so the voters will have the opportunity to vote on this uh, on Well, this thank God it ended election. up on a ballot so at least we have a chance to, to, to decide that. Whose idea was that? Um, this is the, uh, Chuck put this on the uh, agenda and he wants a bond issued right. and so if the voters want more debt. So we gotta borrow. We gotta borrow. We gotta borrow money to do this <laughs> and I'll tell you I'm an animal lover. Right. And if this was reasonable uh, if this estimate was reasonable and within the ballpark I'd be the first one on board for it. But I'm not an animal lover. As a matter <laughs> of fact you know I, I, I truly am not. I know people oh I see the puppies I could give a hot Don't you have a Damn. far for doodle? I have a far for doodle. <laughs> I have a far for doodle and I and I like my dog. I don't love my dog. It'd be, he's part of the family. No, he's not. Actually, he's very expensive and starting to wear on me. However, I am not moved by animals. I am not moved by the plight of animals, really. We got homeless people out here. We could be building shelters for them before we build shelters for cats and dogs. I, I don't care about the bighorn sheep getting eaten up. That's what they're supposed to happen. You got a mountain lion out there. I wouldn't kill the mountain lion to say the sheep. I'm sorry. That's how I am. I understand there are people like you who are all deluded and loving animals and <laughs> do anything for the animals and pay for the animals. But even you who loves animals can look at these numbers and say that this is this is crazy. It is crazy. Um, it's a, a 44,000 square foot facility. And if you look at the buildings, it, co- it, it adds up to about $11 million for the buildings for a kennels, renovation, remodel, and parking and landscape. $11 million. And that should build the whole darn thing. And it should be, build a very nice facility. But then... You add on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we, be, be, how many animals right now is the shelter taking care of? Uh, right now, uh, they have about 500 dogs and 240 cats, okay. is what I'm understanding. That's not a lot. And they're going to add about, from what I understand, the email that we got this afternoon, they're going to add somewhere around 225. It's going to make it around 1,000 animals, 965 animals. 1,000 so, animals. Yeah, somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,000 animals. I take it this is the no kill shelter. 
they are moving towards a minimal kill from uh, 19... The, the facility was built in 1960, so I, I agree it needs to be upgraded. And at that time, it Why was... Why does it have to be up- upgraded to kill the... You could have had the 1960 building and bring them pets in there. They come in one door and go out the other. Well, they it's it's gotten to the point where it's so run down, they need okay. to do some repairs. Right. And it, they're moving away from the kill shelter, you know, the, the euthanasia to the minimal kill. This is up to the voters. Right. And um, the, Do we the, get to vote on whether or not this should be like maximum kill? <laughs> I don't know. That, I don't think that item will be oh. on the ballot. But. All right. <laughs> that's where I am. Kill or be killed. That's, like- that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but continue. But So anyway, it, at the $11 million, I could have lived with that. Right. Um, you could? Yeah, I could. You uh, could. It, it's a lot of money. But I would have, just because I am an animal lover and I, I am for moving towards minimal kill. Right. Uh, and I know you're not. We would have been kung fu fighting up in there, Allie we Miller. We would have. We All right, come on. But then, but then there's another $11 million in there that includes a consultant for almost $3 million. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. A consultant. We need a consultant. That's almost a third of what the, what it was to, for the... 30% of the cost of building the facility, yes. For consultants. For consultants. Well, you got to ask a consultant. I, we gotta ask, I guess we could ask them where we build it. I don't know. <laughs> they didn't give any detail. This is the detail I got, what, I, what I'm showing you right here. This little chart here that says consultant, $2,895,000. That is the detail that I got, yes. And um, and that, and we're supposed to vote intelligently on this with this kind of background information. Wait a minute, furniture and fixtures. Yeah, almost $3 million. $2,852,000. What kind of furniture for the animal? What? You know, I'm assuming the fixtures would be all the metal cages that they put in there, but I don't know what okay, kind of Okay, that's the fixtures. What's the furniture? They got a, 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 a couch, a lounge for the... For, for the, the dogs, dogs? What, uh, what, what, what kind of furniture for the cats? I don't think they're putting in furniture King for the animals. King-size bed? What? <laughs> I hope they're not putting in furniture for the animals. Okay. Um, I assume that probably is desks and chairs for some office equipment or something okay. that they have to buy. But the consultant... Wait a minute. Two million dollars for desk chairs? And they... The, That's a lot of money. Hold on now. <laughs> the Arizona Daily Star jumped all over you for but spending ten thousand dollars on a on a chair or some kind of fifteen hundred. <laughs> yeah, they wrote a whole page story on me spending fifteen hundred on a chair, and I didn't even do it. <laughs> it was another setup from the board trying to stick you, and they gonna come across with some mess like this. And they said not a word. Was there anything in the Arizona Star today? <laughs> <laughs> for <a> two point <laughs> eight million dollars, but I bought I bought eight. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, they gonna give you hell about paying one hundred and eight dollars at the Ritz? <laughs> 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 So this furniture, yeah, two point eight million, and then we have something called reserve. Reserve, okay. What's up? I assume uh, reserve. that is one oh one point six million. one million six hundred and sixty four thousand dollars in reserve. Now, I like reserve because I like the fact that maybe we're planning ahead so that we don't overrun. However. I believe the ten million up above the almost eleven million should take have reserve built into it, and that should be enough money. But they have this additional reserve in here. Uh, it's uh, one million six hundred sixty four thousand dollars, and then and then the the one the kicker. I'm looking at this right now. This the is inflation a- four million dollars for inflation. <laughs> <laughs> and, that is absurd. <laughs> this estimate. Oh my God. <laughs> I just looked at this and I went, this estimate was done this weekend because I asked for the numbers on Friday. They said they were working them over the weekend. And okay. this was and so they got four million dollars okay. of inflation. Buildings, kennels, renovation, remodeling, <laughs> parking landscape totals ten million nine hundred and forty six thousand dollars. Furniture consultant reserve inflation is eleven million three hundred and ninety eight dollars. You can't be. This is no. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. No. <laughs> no is right. I I am going to campaign against this because this is a bait and switch, James. There is no way that the fixtures they're going to build out there are going to cost this much money, Aaron. If they do, they better be gold plated. Well, it's five hundred forty animals. What? It, 
you know what? Is this is this town crazy enough to do this? I Are they crazy not. enough to go for a twenty-two million dollar bond I for this? Not. And this is a slush fund. You're right. Bait and switch. We have more coming up with Ali Miller on the other side. This is absolutely absurd. You're listening to One for One, the truth. That is absurd. In the PM, you're listening to 1041 The Truth. Ali Miller is in studio. This is Miller time. Ali, I want to thank you. I uh, I was very, very congested uh, earlier in the show, but uh, with all the laughing, <laughs> I have it's sort of clean, clean, clear out a few, a few uh, passages, nasal passages. Yeah, but my my throat is hurting because <clears throat> that's how hard I laugh. This is this is funny. Except it's not. It's not funny at all. Uh, we're talking about twenty-two million dollars for for an animal shelter. Even for animal lovers, this has to be a, a bit much. We I shared an article uh, written by a gentleman, uh, the Arizona Republic uh, from uh, Phoenix area, who was just broke bad on Tucson. Yeah, I read that. <laughs> you know? He did. And Stiller tried to come back at him today, but it was weak because he had to admit we, we have problems. But this is part of what the problem is. How are you going to go to the taxpayers, talk about a bond issue for $22 million where, where, uh, where, where is the sheet here? Uh, where um, uh, $2.8 million for furniture, $2.8 million for, a, a, who's the consultant? I'm not sure who the consultant is, but I'm waiting. I'm anxious to see who that consultant is. Who is, is the consultant getting two point? Uh, $8 million, $8 million to, to answer questions about the animal shelter. I'd like to know. How can I get into the consultant game? Yeah, you know, you need to just go down there and apply, I guess. we got to find out. Oh, I, yeah, I am yeah, going yeah, to find yeah. out. You know, the, the thing of it is, I was in the middle of asking questions about right. this list. And Ray Carroll, he did a, a move and uh, called. he called the questions so that I could no longer no, 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 ask no, no, no. any come questions. Come on now, come on, come on. Yeah. Wait, wait, come on, come on. No. You're asking legitimate questions about, you know, the, the expenditures here. And then somebody, Ray, goes for a call to call the question, so they got to go to a vote? Yes, that forces them to a vote. And Sharon, I had already asked if I could, I had already asked to speak. And Sharon went along with Ray and said, when he said, call the question, she goes, Ray, call the question. You can't ask any more questions. So See, that ends it. That's okay. uh, open meeting law. So, okay. Okay, yeah. so, okay. So we don't have any transparency. We don't know what's going on behind the numbers. You got this information with the rest of the uh, uh, council members. I'm not going to accuse them of, of getting it early, but somebody knew what was coming down the pike. Oh, yeah. Somebody knew what was coming down the pike. And then they're going to have, they, they, they don't let you have any discussion about it on Tuesday. They get called a question, all of a sudden it goes to a vote, and it's going out to the taxpayers uh, uh, to decide whether or not they want to spend $22 million, uh, 11 of it, 11 million of it for furniture consulting reserve and inflation yes yes half of it more than half of it goes to that and and the thing of it is is the people deserve to know this and i'm going to make sure that i get out and educate as many people as i can about this so that they don't vote for this bond i mean i am all for fixing that animal shelter but this is just as you say absurd they're not trying to Oh, I'm sorry, I stepped on that. Uh, she said it was absurd, Ross. That is absurd. <laughs> I am not trying to... Um, uh, okay, yes, I am. What is, the, what is the motivation behind this? I mean, do... Are, are the, I don't want to say it. Are the Tucson... Do we, the, the taxpayers, are they not... Do they not pay attention to this kind of stuff? I, I mean, we, I mean you, you... I know that in this town, people like animals. I moved out west... They actually take animals and dogs and stuff in the restaurants here. I, that freaks me out. I can't get over that. Don't People go to think, France. <laughs> yeah, well, in France, they're crazy. The French and that kind of stuff. But you, yeah. okay, people love animals here. I, I, I can dig it. That's why people are upset that the, that, the, that the sheep are being killed by the mountain lions and that we're actually killing the mountain lions for killing the sheep. I, I get it. Yeah. But are people in this town crazy enough to go $22 million in debt for More. this and this is not about the animals no no not with all this extra uh, pork in here and that's what it is is pork see this um, is what kills me it's almost another. 11 million dollars worth of pork this is what kills me we live in a town where the leadership cares more about bikes than they do about cars where the leadership is willing to, sp willing to spend more money on trolley trains than on fixing the damn roads where People value the homeless over commerce, but animals over the homeless. What the hell is this? Yeah, 
Yeah. And the, the thing of it is, is that the people I hope will do their homework. I, I hope that I can get this out to as many people as possible so they understand the, the breakdown and putting this on your blog sending yes. it out and getting it out there so that people can see the breakdown and understand that this is truly a bait and switch. This is not about the animals because if you look, that, there's $11 million worth of pork. That's the only way you can spell it. $11 million. I love the whole consultant thing. Yeah, the, And I uh, love the whole reserve and inflation. Here's my question. Can they move this around? Can they? Oh, 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 Allie Miller. If this passes, like the bond passes, can they yank money out of the inflation fund and the furniture fund and put it where they want to the same way they did District 1's road money? Absolutely. Mm. With a majority vote, they mm. can move this money anywhere they want. And this is what makes me so upset about mm. this is that I believe that's what's going to happen well, with this money. And the voters need to know it before they vote. Wow. And we're already $1.4 billion, billion with a B in debt. Wow. That includes the sewer debt. So just what we need to do is add another $22 million in debt on top of that. Well, once uh, you get over a billion, what's another $22 and million? What's another $22 really? million, yeah. Yeah, that's what is and, that? And you know, at the end of the day, if this was truly about the animals, where are the architects in town that love the animals? Where are the uh, builders in town that love the animals that would build this and do the design of this for a discounted rate? I am sure they're out there. But all of a sudden, we have to spend $22 million on this? I don't think so. I think there's a lot of people that love animals that would do volunteer labor, just like they do Habitat for Humanity. And they would be able to help put up this structure. And I think that's the way it should be done. And I think that there are a lot of people, who, uh, like I said, architects and builders who love animals who would be willing to, uh, you know, drop the plans and help build this. Dr. Tom wants to know how much is it going to cost to repair the roads in front of the animal shelter? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It, it's in my district. It's in District 1, Dr. Tom, so don't hold your breath. Wow. They're taking the money away so people won't vote for me. And they're they're saying I'm hard to get along with so people won't vote for me because they want me gone. Well, you so know nobody what? I, will ask questions if anymore. If I were the person that was advancing this asinine uh, 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 bond proposal, I would want you gone too. Because I wouldn't want the people knowing about this. <laughs> That's right. Because this is embarrassing. I mean, you, okay, Allie Miller, you are you are being transparent. You're 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 showing the numbers here that we're discussing in a meeting. You're sharing it with the community. I would be embarrassed to be the one that call this one to a vote without questions being asked, like who who's the consultant? Uh, why do we need this much in reserve? Uh, what? Inflation, four million dollars for inflation. So then it sounds like whoever came up with that number actually believes that the Obama economy is going to tank us and inflation is going to run wild. Yeah, it sounds that way, doesn't it? So who is that person? Well, I don't know where. The, well, these numbers were just sent out to us from the Animal Co I, Care Center. So is the Animal uh, Pima Animal Control Center? Are they pushing this? They're out of the health department. Yes, they are pushing this. Yes, they want that Animal Control Center fixed. And end of the day, if the people vote this in. They are going to, this money, I guarantee it, this, this, this is nothing but pork, $11 right. million dollars worth of pork, and we're not going to get what we're, we're being sold. We're being sold up the river, and I hope people really get it. I hope they go to your site. I hope they go, go to my site. We will get this up. We'll get We've this up. We've got to get it up so they can see it. And we'll have uh, And people, I'm going to be presenting yeah. it at every town hall. As a matter of fact, I have a town hall tomorrow night, <laughs> 6 o'clock at the Oro Valley Library. Please come. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so um, this is absurd. Uh, <laughs> I understand, uh, Allie Miller, that some of the Miller time, the James C. Harris Miller time signs are disappearing from your door down yeah. there at the county. What's going on? Well, we have a little bulletin board down there, and we put the uh, Miller time signs up there so that anyone that comes up to see anyone in the Board of Supervisors knows yeah. about Miller time. Well, they've been disappearing left and right, so what? they get pulled down. We put them right back up. So now I'm going to have one laminated, and I'm going to have it put on my door, and then we're going to have to have another. We're just have to keep putting them up on the bulletin board outside my door. You know, I remember during the last elections that uh, one of the cats running, Sean Collins, had the same problem. His signs were coming up missing. <laughs> His signs were coming up missing all the time. He had to go up, put some new ones out there, and they get yanked away as well. I had a lot of that, too. You know what I need to do? Get one of those uh, animal cameras. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I can exactly. borrow one from that fish and game guy that you know. <laughs> well, I'm telling you. This is absolutely... I'll put it up and I'll find out who's pulling down my Miller Time Miller signs. Miller Time signs. Do you, do you have enough? Uh, it's a waste of paper. I know you got paper. a stack. We got a stack, okay, yes. Okay, so I can, get, I can supply you with some more. 
We got a bunch of them. All right. They're all cut just up, sort of ready to go, and we just keep slapping them right back up every time they take them down. We'll put some of our thugs out there, too, to watch your door. It's time. <laughs> if somebody jumps on it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Allie Miller, thank you very much for coming in this afternoon. Thank you very much right. for sharing this information. Uh, to my audience, we're going to try to have this stuff loaded up uh, in the next 24 hours. Please share. Share this information uh, with your fellow taxpayers. This is out of hand. Uh, this may be a, a trial balloon, a test balloon, uh, but if people are are, are are sentimental enough to waste $22 million on something like this, and it, I, I heard that they probably could do this and do it right for like five or six. That's oh, right. well, we own, the county owns the land, right? The county does own the land. Look. We don't even have to buy the land. So this is that's what makes it even uh, worse is the fact that it's five hundred and three dollars per square foot when you total it all up, and we own the land. That's pretty expensive for an animal care shelter, forty four thousand square feet. Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yes, we will get this written up and we'll get it out there so you have it on your page and and, and so that people can see it, look at it, and make their own judgment. I <laughs> I voted yes on this to allow them to vote, and we thank you for this. Yes, because it's not my right to take away their right to vote. Thank you so much for making sure that this becomes you know goes on the ballot. So at least. At least if the people become educated about this, they can make an educated vote. And if they decide to vote it in, then you know what? We deserve what we get. If you. We, if we vote this in, we will be, uh, yes, it, it'll be just beyond outrageous. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, P. McCartney Supervisor, Allie, Allie Miller. You're listening to 104.1 The Truth. Thank you.